many of us, family and friends. Sadly, he's not here with us today. All we have is a somewhat tacky jug full of his remains and our memories to give us solace. How does one encapsulate something as complex as a man's life in mere words? You can't. And if you try, at best you touch upon facets of his being and trigger various reminiscences in the minds of those upon whose ears your words fall oh, like a butterfly gently fluttering across a field of wildflowers, innocently collecting nectar, all the while blissfully unaware of a genetic turmoil left in its wake. Pretty damn poetic, eh? I wrote that one myself. Headley was a man of many faces, brother, son, father, husband, friend, lover, pervert. We, each of us, all knew a different man named Headley B. Keanu. I guess I will always remember him as my big brother. Everything he did, he did in what seemed to me to be a larger than life fashion. He ran faster, he jumped higher, he excelled at school, and he helped father collect the mortgage payments. God, was he good. Not only could he squeeze the money out of widows, but they would give him fresh baked cookies and milk while he did it. He was like some shining hero from Greek mythology to me back then. <clears throat> Every path I walked, there up ahead of me was his harmonic clad behind, blazing the trail. It wasn't until later that I learned that I wasn't the only one chasing him. Less! Oh, come on, sis. It was a joke. Everyone knows you need some humor at these things. Well, it was in questionable taste. Had they would have appreciated it. He liked his tasteful things. Just look at Drew. Lester had my feet counter. Yes, Mama. All right. All right. Oh, where was it? Oh. Those of you who knew him in his youth will, I'm certain, recall with bittersweet fondness the unique blend of caring and ruthless determination which was to define his character throughout his life. Teddy, remember that time back in your high school football days when the two of you were chasing after the same cheerleader? <laughs> you ended up dating her, and the next game, Headley tossed with a suicide pass up the middle? <laughs> I, I bet you remember that. Uh, I noticed you still have a lift on that tackle. And Phil, Remember how you and him went into that stock deal and when you got nervous, he was kind enough to buy over your shares for twice what you paid for him? <laughs> and then two days later, he went and sold them for ten times that amount? <laughs> I, I see you do remember. <sighs> Head was like that. <coughs> kind, caring, but, but always with an eye. so much potential in our Hedley. In business, Hedley was the same. Sure, he exploited child labor, but that's not how he viewed it. He was just misunderstood. No one but father and he looked past the grind and poverty to see that as a renewable resource. Those wonderful children were helping to save their lands from the ravages of resource depletion and industrial pollution. Had he even made sure the little urchins had shoes? <sighs> Gloria, remember when you were sent to prison over those ledgers which somehow made their way to the tax people? Not only did Headley save, save your business from the vultures by buying it up, but he, but he even hired you to run it for him when you got out of jail. 
What a guy. Oh. Henry was even a great family man, not only providing for their material needs, but also nurturing their growth. Why, Winifred, the day he told me that he never, oh shoot, I couldn't possibly express his sincere pride the day he told me that he never guessed that the duck, that was his pet name for you, would turn into such an asset to the firm. And little Ethel, I thought he was going to burst when you executed that hostile takeover on the Perkins Kids Lemonade Stand when you were in grade one. Oh, proud as a peacock he was. I think he sensed that his time spent shining on this earth was coming to an end. For in his last years, he set about seeking to gain acceptance in a world unable to appreciate his gifts. With his usual zeal, Hedley set out to write what he saw was our society's ills. From saving baby seals to third world relief, and <clears throat> even embracing a rather dubious sexuality, he made himself a crusader for change. Henry was a giant, I know, for I lived in his shadow. And gladly, and gladly, how I wish that mammoth shadow still stretched protectively over me. It shrunk.